Today's Evening Devotional From Doubt to Faith Then said Jesus unto him, Except ye see signs and wonders, ye will not believe. John chapter 4 verse 48 Like a flash of light, the Savior's words to the nobleman laid bare his heart. He saw that his motives in seeking Jesus were selfish. His vacillating faith appeared to him in its true character. In deep distress he realized that his doubt might cost the life of his son. He knew that he was in the presence of one who could read the thoughts, and to whom all things were possible. In an agony of supplication he cried, Sir, come down ere my child die. His faith took hold upon Christ as did Jacob, when, wrestling with the angel, he cried, I will not let thee go, except thou bless me. Genesis chapter 32 verse 26. Like Jacob he prevailed. The Savior cannot withdraw from the soul that clings to him, pleading its great need. Go thy way, he said, thy son liveth. The nobleman left the Savior's presence with a peace and joy he had never known before. Not only did he believe that his son would be restored, but he trusted in Christ as the Redeemer. Like the afflicted father, we are often led to seek Jesus by the desire for some earthly good, and upon the granting of our request we rest our confidence in his love. The Savior longs to give us a greater blessing than we ask, and he delays the answer to our request that he may show us the evil of our own hearts, and our deep need of his grace. He desires us to renounce the selfishness that leads us to seek him. Confessing our helplessness and bitter need, we are to trust ourselves wholly to his love. The nobleman wanted to see the fulfillment of his prayer before he should believe, but he had to accept the word of Jesus that his request was heard and the blessing granted. This lesson we also have to learn. The day is just before us when Satan will present numerous miracles to confirm the faith of all those who are seeking this kind of evidence. How terrible will be the situation of those who close their eyes to the light of truth and ask for miracles to establish them in deception.